It is the final week of update 32, and we have one more car to unlock. This is the Jaguar F-Type SVR, the final SVR ever made. All we have to do to unlock the thing is get 20 points. Should be pretty simple. Forza Sun shop for the week, though. I mean, the Ferrari FXXK isn't bad. 20 minutes, actually less than 20 minutes later, the Jaguar F-Type is officially ours. The whole thing with the Jaguar F-Type is it's famous for having one of the greatest engine sounds ever. Let's go do a tunnel run. Okay. This is a good start. It's missing. It, that's what it's missing. That. The engine sound itself is actually really good. Like the tone, the like the range, all of that's in there, very nice. It's missing that little crackle though that makes the F-Type so famous. It's good, but it could have been better. As per usual, this wouldn't be an AR-12 video without any fun facts about the Jaguar F-Type SVR. I guess I should probably start by addressing the elephant in the room. This is the final Jaguar F-Type. I'm about to go murder a Bentley. Hold on. All right, back to the fun fact. This is the final Jaguar F-Type. Nowadays, if you walk into a Jag dealer, the only ones they offer are like the Jag F-Type 75 and I think it's like the 85 or something like that. They've got very uninspiring names. You know what's even more sad than that? Is after this year, Jag is also killing off the Jaguar F-Type completely. They've already killed off the SVR. They've already killed off the four-cylinder and the V6 version. They've already killed off the rear-wheel drive version. And after 2024, they are killing off the F-Type all together. Can I get an F in the chat? Back in peak COVID, during 2020, I was on the hunt for a sports car. And the three cars that I was looking at was a Jaguar F-Type SVR, a Mercedes AMG G GTR and my Shelby GT350. I found a really nice Jaguar F-Type, but then I got a little scared of Jag doing Jag things, if I'm honest. I've always had a soft spot in my heart for one of these things, but at the end of the day, when it was my money on the line and it was Jaguar reliability versus a Ford at the end of the day, I went with the Ford. At least in video game world, we don't need to worry about the Jaguar F-Type blowing up. So we can do all of the upgrades we want. Whoa, a lot of engine swap. Bone stock, we've got our 5 liter V8. We can swap in an Audi R8 V10, a 2JZ, a racing V12, and a 7.7 .7 liter V12 from a TVR. These are not the engines that I was expecting. For now, I'm going to keep the stock engine in. We'll work on that. We are all wheel drive. We're going to turn this thing back to rear wheel drive. We can give it front split. We can give it a rear wing. That looks awful. Uh, like I said, reliability is important. <laughs> I want to make this like a, a realistic street car plus. I've gone for rear wheel drive. We're definitely not swapping any aero on. I think I will give it semi slick since I think that's one of the first upgrades you would do to it in real life. And let's give it some engine spacers. Very nice. Look at how much camber is on the front wheel stock. I will upgrade the brake. One of the things that I was looking for in particular, if I was going to buy one of these, I was super particular because I wanted it to have carbon ceramic brakes. I will upgrade the brakes on this thing, sort of kind of to match. Definitely one of the things you would do in real life is slam it down. 620 horsepower. I think that's pretty good. For like an OEM plus, I think
think that is a great build. I think it's going to be so much nicer to drive like this. Rear wheel drive. Finish things up with a lovely paint job. Again, if I was going to buy one of these in real life, you know it would be blue. But the other colors are actually really cool too. I love this like midnight green. Looks incredible. That type of green with the bronze wheels is very, very nice. Just to make it a little bit more spicy, we'll give it some carbon fiber wing mirrors as well. Don't worry because he drives a jag. Have I ever told you about the incredible story of my friend, or well, hockey coach, who had one of these? Back in the day, one of my old hockey coaches had a Jag F-Type. It was actually like the first Jag F-Type that came out. It was a Jag F-Type R, so it was like the big V8 one. There were no SVRs back in the day. He was like an older guy who was like the main coach of the hockey team. And one of the assistant coaches was like a younger guy, probably like mid-20s or something like that. The young guy had a date with a lady and he was taking her out on a first date. The Jag owner found out and since he's got a Jag, he offered it up to the assistant coach and he took it out on a date. And let's just say, Things went rather well for the assistant coach because he had a Jag. <laughs> With the upgrades that we've done to this thing now, it is incredible to drive. This is the way it should have come from the factory. Almost less of a Grand Tour and more of like a cheaper sports car sort of thing. More horsepower, lighter weight, power to the back, and more grip. I would have paid good money to see Jag build like a GT3 or or a GT4 Jaguar F-Type SVR. That would have been so... Actually, you know what, chat? Since Jag didn't do it, maybe we make that our next... It got air across the line. That is a great idea. If we're going GT4 though, there are some things we definitely need. For example, some full-on racing slick. I'm gonna upgrade the rear tires to the max. Definitely need a roll cage in there. Then we also need max weight reduction, sub 3,000 pounds now. Unfortunately, we also need some arrow in the front and some arrow in the rear. Top of S1 class. We are way more powerful than like a GT3 car, but... It should still be pretty fun. I'm really interested to see if this thing is actually going to be grippy enough. That's a lot of wheel spin. A lot of wheel spin in second, but we pick up in third. We lose a lot of spots. We're rear wheel drive. That's just it's going to be the case. Get past the other Jag. Nope, can't get past. This is sick. This is actually like Monaco-esque racing in these. That was sick. The roll cage looks fantastic. This is what I mean, though. If we actually upgrade to like a race transmission... 100% the game should give us a sequential instead of just like the flappy paddles on there. I think once we actually go drifting with the F-Type, I think that's where we'll find it to be like top tier. I don't think this is a great race car. Even if we swapped on all-wheel drive, it's, it's never going to be that good. You can definitely tell that it's a Grand Tour first and a sports car second. Hey, catch up to this Maserati though. There we go. Okay, kind of bullied him out the way. Do apologize. Jag, you didn't do as well as I was really hoping for. It's good, but I think it's better in, like, fun build. Golden said in chat a little while ago, he said, for me, it's a better S1 dirt racer or a purist A-class road car. S1 road is a bit of a struggle with it. If S1 is going to be better for off-roading, we can give it a go. Oh my god, it's got big, chunky off-road racing tires. That has 1,200 horsepower. Golden, what did you do? I think this might be the most fun version of the Jag F-Type. We'll see. It's either going to be this or or it's going to be drifting. One of the two. We'll see. As soon as we get off-road, I think this thing is going to... What is going on with the AI today? This is kind of like that one episode of the Grand Tour where they turn sports cars into off-roaders. A hundred percent. I mean, it would have been pretty cool if we could have added on like some rally lights. That would have been sick. Honestly, yeah, I see what you mean, Golden. This is a more fun version of the car to drive. Definitely sketchy, but it's also definitely really quick. I straight up wish this thing had better customization. Like rally lights, like a fun wide body like the other F-Type has in this game. And I kind of also wish it had a little bit of, of a better engine note. It's also seriously quick in S1 off-road. We are blowing the AI out of the water. Beautiful car. That 
100% the most fun version or like the, the fastest version we've driven so far. I think my like OEM plus version is probably still like my favorite version, but that is not bad at all. I guess we should probably break some of the rules though. How fast do you think we could make a Jag F type? Drift. <laughs> I think drifting straight up is going to be the best thing for this. DVR engine could also be fun with some twin turbos strapped to it. A thousand 300 horsepower in the Jag, a thousand foot pounds of torque. Okay, we're definitely gonna need to make it all wheel drive again. A hundred percent. Chat says my car is gonna break down even more. That's not a nice thing to say. I like this car, okay? We are an all wheel drive, fully maxed out Jag F type drift car. 240K is my PB at this drift zone. I think the Jag. I think it should be possible for it. Here we go. So chuck it in third gear, handbrake it in, and then try to get around here. Not gonna make that all in one. We maybe with a little bit more confidence, maybe. We'll see though. I think the Jag is going to be a fantastic little drift car though. Look at it go. My God, is it stable for like, what is relatively a small little car? You would expect this to be so much more almost uncontrollable than it actually is. This is lovely to drive. I only bottled it in the final corner there. That was all my fault. I think with more confidence, we might be onto this. Take down a PB, third gear, in we go. We gotta hold it, hold it all in one. All in one, all in one, yes! That's what we want, very nice. It doesn't seem like much, but that is gonna give us a whole lot more points. Jeez, that was a lot of angle. That was a little too much, I think. I think that's gonna hurt our score, actually. This car is sick. 220, 233, are you kidding me? Come on. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Nice, held it, very nice. Go for angle, but not too much because we got to keep the speed up. Nice. Very good. Same thing here and then snap it back. But go outside line. More angle right there. The sun is set. This is my best run. This is without a doubt my best run. Come on. New PB in the Jag! 244,000 points. I knew it would be a good drift car. I had no idea it would be that good a drift car. I ranked 2,700 in the world with a Jag. Since this is the final car in this month's update, I now need to ask the question. Next update is called the Apex All-Stars update and new cars are coming. Make some predictions for what you think.